Okay, in today's video, I wanted to talk to you again about disinheritance. And again, there's a video out there that I did some time ago now about my mum. My mum was actually disinherited. And I wanted to explain to you and show you exactly how my mum was disinherited. So you all are aware of the dangers of just having just a simple basic will. So my nan and granddad, they were married, obviously, for many, many years. And my granddad passed away fairly early on. He was only in his kind of mid 60s when he passed away. So what happened was when my granddad passed away, they had a simple basic will which left the house and all the cash and everything else directly to my nana, directly to my nana. So it's now her. She owns everything now because everything passed to her. This is my mum over here. Yeah, so she's not a beneficiary at this, at this point in time because everything went to nana first of all, my nana via the basic simple will. The problem, though, for this is that now that the Nana had ownership of everything, all the assets, she then went and met Bill. She met Bill. And what happened was when she met Bill, she took with her all of the assets. So the house was sold at this point, and she just had a big old bag of cash now, as it were, that she brought with her into the new marriage. What she did with this cash was she put it into Bill's house to ensure that this mortgage was then paid off and everything was all sorted here. No issues at all. They then got married. Okay. And as they got married, they set up again a simple basic will. Now, the problem for my poor mum over here was is that my nana died first. And when she died, everything, all of the assets that were created here, even the big old bag of cash that my granddad worked so hard to create, all passed to Bill through their simple basic will. Because again, they left everything to each other, first line beneficiary. Nothing came to mum whatsoever. Now, the problem with this now is that Bill owns all of the assets. Now, over here, Bill had his own daughter. So what Bill decided to do at this point was to rewrite the will and he left all of his assets, including the assets that my granddad worked so hard for, all of those assets he left to his daughter over here, leaving my mum completely disinherited. Nothing. So my granddad worked his entire life and none of his own family ever benefited from anything that he ever did. Mum never even received a ring, nothing. So all those heirlooms that really in my mind Nana had, as it were, that ultimately should have come to my mum, that should have then come down to my children, were all just lost. It all came to, to uh, over here. Ash and off she went, never to be seen again. That is a real life example of a basic simple will and the disinheritance that potentially can happen especially in this day and age when we've got 42% of all marriages ending in divorce. I'm second married and I've got my two children from my first marriage. My wife's got her two children from her first marriage. If we had this kind of a setup, I could be doing exactly the same thing that happened to my mum, disinheriting my children. We've got the trust planning obviously in place to ensure that does not happen. Hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you need anything from me, obviously email me just above and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one.